Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is my point honey. When you think of Costco or Trader Joe's, we usually think of bottled water, toilet papers, eggs. You know, they actually make pretty good whiskey. They make pretty good alcohol in general. I know they make uh, bourbons, they make uh, single malt whiskey, they got tequilas and all kinds of wine. Today, I got two bottles, one from each of those places. Costco's single barrel bourbon rated at 120 proof, 60% alcohol. And I got the Trader Joe's version of their barrel proof bourbon rated at 125. Yeah, 125 proof. It's 62.5% alcohol. So we'll try these two bottles. Um, they're pretty popular. They're not that allocated. They're not hard to find, but when they are out, people love them. You know, they're both very high in, in alcohol content. They're very cheap and they're available. So, and they're also made by the same distillery uh, from what I understand. So we'll try these two guys out. You know, I'll share my notes with you as I try them out. I'll let you know at the end what I prefer out of these two. I went to Costco earlier. I had to get their Costco hot dog, $1.50 Costco and drink hot dog combo. So I brought it back and I'll enjoy it as I drink these two bottles. So, so let's get right to it. We'll try out the Costco one first because they're it's slightly less alcohol content. Put it right here. All right. So they're great deals. They're under $30, both of them, at Costco and Trader Joe's respectively. This comes in one liter bottles, so they're an excellent deal, and they're made by the Barton 1792 Distillery. They make great whiskeys. They make the 1792 uh, lineup of whiskeys. And both of them, from what I understand, let me know in the comments below if I'm incorrect, but from both of them, they're made by Barton Distilleries. Color is, you know, amber, orangish. It's pretty viscous, not very watery. All right. The nose, heavy caramel, very heavy caramel. Pretty straightforward, nothing, just caramel and oak. A little bit of toffee I get at the end. Yeah, that's about it. All right, let's go for it. Cheers, everyone. Woo! Ooh, it's, it's stinging. First drink of the day. A lot of oak, a lot of oak, a lot of barrely oak right off the bat. And the heat's there. Ooh, it's still there. It's hot, it's hot, it's spicy. Caramel, it's a little bit sweet. It's not overly sweet, but I could definitely taste the sweet caramel in there. Not much, no fruit, um, just, just maple syrupy, like a little honey-ish I detect. Try a second sip. It's good, it's very uh, oily. Mouthfeel is pretty good. A lot of honey, a lot of honey on the, on the second sip. I'm trying to detect anything else, any yeah, some bready notes, some like toasted bread notes. Again, a lot of oak come through. No, nothing like no fruits. Bread notes. This finish is pretty good. It's not as good as I thought it would be, considering it's 120 proof, but it's definitely decent. No complaints about it. Yeah, a lot of caramel. Ooh, still, it's still bitey. The heat's, heat's there. Yeah, a lot of caramel, a lot of maple syrup. And that's about it, that's about it. And oak, a toasted oak. I'm oh, pretty good, I'm oh, pretty good. Not, not much to it. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting a pappy. I wasn't expecting something, something crazy here. Again, these are $30, I mean, this is $28. This is $29, $30. So these are 20 something dollar bourbons at 120 plus proof. So I'm not expecting crazy amount of complexity or, you know, something that's so outstanding. 
we got to go in with the mindset that it's going to be a budget bourbon that's going to give you a good value for your money. So I think it really does though. For $30, oh, it's, it's good. It's good. Last sip before I try this one. I'm trying to get more out of it, but I'm not getting more out of anything new. Like I'm getting more of same maple syrup, but it's good. I love maple syrup. Um, bready. All right, let's put that aside. Moving on to this one. I like this one. Um, you know, they they were selling this a few months ago. And, uh, you know, I didn't know too much about it. And a couple of years ago, people were saying, oh, this is really good whiskey, so buy it. I didn't really buy into it. But I saw it at Trader Joe's, so I decided to buy it. I really like the bottle, by the way. It has the, uh, I don't know if you know, of Rock Hill Farms, the Buffalo Trace product, which is, you know, like 300 bucks. It's, they sort of copied it. So I like the bottle design, but let's pour a little bit. Under 30 bucks, this is also made by Barton 1792 folks. So they're made by the same people, you know, in the same, you know, proof range. Well, they, they're not that different. I mean, before I even tried this, I, I knew they're, you know, they're pre, pretty much similar. So, but I never really tried them back to back. So we're going to do that right now. Let's put this aside. Color's a little darker than that one. Yeah, a bit darker. Let's go for the nose, guys. Caramel. It's more, a little bit more spicy, more minty. I don't know if there's more rye in here. I, I don't know the mash bill for these two guys. I don't think they advertise it. But slightly more like fresh scent, like mint, minty fresh scent. That's the best I can describe it. I didn't get that on that one. Anyway. Cheers again, guys. Let's see how this one tastes. Ooh. No bad. Oh, considerably hotter. It's only five proof more, but it's hotter. Like coming down, coming through my nose, like when you eat, uh, when you eat like sushi and you eat, you accidentally eat like a clump of wasabi and that heat shoots through your nose and the, behind your eye socket. That's the that's the that's the feeling I got when I when I drink this right now. <laughs> Let's drink it again. A lot of oak. A lot more oak here. Oak here, this one is. Somewhat more bitter and also sweeter at the same time. When you, when you first, when this first touches the palate, I could taste the, like the thick vanilla, like sweetness, but then it gets completely overwhelmed by the, like the very charred oak. They're very, very burnt oak. Like right now, there's like an aftertaste of like something burnt. I mean burnt, like a burnt barrel-y taste, like overly toasted bread or graham cracker. Let's try it again. Getting more nuts, like peanuts, like roasted peanuts. It's sweeter than this one and more bitter than this one. This one. Both sweet, sweeter and bitter. More bitter. Is there bitter or, I don't know. Um, but yeah, and it's hotter. If I didn't know any better, I would, I would think it's much hotter than just five more proof than this one. It's still, still in there. It gives you more, um, better finish, I guess. But then that, hmm, it has that, like, a very burnt aftertaste. Like a medicinal, like if you eat Michael and then, you, you know, not the initial taste of Michael, but when you drink it and you, it's done in that aftertaste of that Michael or like a Robitussin, it's sort of like that. Let's try it one more time. Mm. 
Ooh, through my nose. I can't do a poker face on this one. Yeah, sweeter, more toastier, more bitter note, more oaky note, and nuts, a lot of nuts. No fruits, very dark, sweet, like a burnt marshmallow notes. A lot of oak, a lot of charred oak, like a burnt oak. Take a sip of water. All right, well, I tried them both out, side by side. It's time for the hot dog now, so let's get to the hot dog. I got the hot dog from Costco on the way out uh, earlier today. I didn't put any ketchup, like relish or, or mustard or anything like that because I knew I was going to film later today and uh, I didn't want it to get soggy and the bread get all messy and stuff like that. So I just got the hot dog and the wiener. I happen to have some leftover onions, so I grilled them with some mushrooms. So hopefully it doesn't come apart. So good. Costco hot dog is the best, no matter what anyone says. Dollar fifty, as far as I can remember, ever since I was young, can't beat that. With the, with the drink, amazing. So good. So I tried them back to back, and here's my verdict. They both have that maple syrupy, classic bourbon offerings, right? They got the, the caramel notes, it's all there. The oakiness, it's there from the bar. I think if I had to pick one of them, I would have to pick this one. Only because, again, they offered a similar taste profile, but I do not like the finish that this one has. That medicine, medicinal taste, that like overly charred, overly burnt taste at the end. I think some people like that taste. I'm not sure, uh, but I, it, I can't get used to that. As if like you ate like an unripe banana or something like that and you go, or you ate too much pineapple and you have that feeling in your mouth, it's hard to describe. It's sort of like that. It leaves you with that taste and you just want to get rid of it, but you can't, no. Again, it's more, it's more sweeter. It's more oakier, uh, it's more, um, has better mouth feel, even I can say that, but that finish sort of ruins it all, at least for me. So if I had to pick one of them out of these two, it would have to be this one. This one is good, um, has overall good caramelly, oaky, you know, decent mouth feel, and I think it's like a dollar cheaper than this one while offering 250 more milliliters. Um, so that's, I mean, that's something, right? So if you're paying, like, I think I paid like $28 for this for a one liter, 1,000 milliliter bottle. I mean, that's a sweet deal, sweet deal. And because it's a high, a higher proof, you can mix it. You can mix it with what, you can make any uh, cocktail out of it and it'll, it'll hold up pretty good. The alcohol won't, won't be diluted too much. It's very versatile and, you know, has all the classic bourbon flavors, sweet, oaky, it's all there. So, you know, if I, again, if I were to pick one of these two, I'll definitely pick this one. Now, that doesn't mean that this one is not a good bourbon. I think it's a decent bourbon, especially considering it's a 20, you know, $29 bourbon bottle. I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, if you don't mind the finish of it, it's definitely a, you know, very serviceable bourbon for $30, so. All right, let's try this. And this hot dog, it's good. Whew, there you have it, guys. The deal of the two budget barrel-proof bourbons. Both on the $30, both great deal. Can't go wrong with them. 
If I had to pick one, I'll pick this one. Let me know in the comment section if you disagree. I know a lot of people are a fan of this Trader Joe's bourbon. That's all I got for you today. Thanks everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on Costco or Trader Joe's bourbon. So have a good one and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.